I'm John with Caddy Daddy Presents, and today we're going to go through what it's going to take to restore, for the most part, a 1959-60 wheel cover. And we'll take it apart, and we've got one that has been restored, so we'll show you really what you can do with something that's this bad. How it can come back, and really, you don't want to throw it away. Hey there, John. What you working on today? Making a lot of noise. Uh, Josh, I, st I just a little bit before you got here, uh -huh. I started undoing, and it's a pretty simple process, but I, I have a hell of a hard time. <laughs> this is... It's, yeah, I think they're pretty beat up. Yeah, oh, my God. What's that off of? Well, so it fits several models, but um, it's off of a uh, 59 Eldorado Veritz. Oh, okay. And But if you had a Fleetwood or a Seville and you had a 1959 or a 60, or you just love the wheel cover and you wanted uh -huh. to put it on your regular rim, you, you could do that. So it's 59 or 60 is the yeah. years it was used on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, only. And uh, so it's a, it's a hell of a project to try to restore something yeah, like this. That, I know that we're getting ready. To, we've gotten some stuff back already from getting restored. We have. And this is this one. I guess you're going to be ta you're taking it apart so we can ship ship it out. Yeah, I that just, thing's in bad shape. Yeah, I just started unscrewing it, and it's okay. it, it, there are a lot of parts to it. Yeah, and I, I'm going to really need your help. You know, I got in the Cadillac parts business because I could take things apart pretty well, mm -hmm. and there's nothing I couldn't take apart. <laughs> I mean, I would go and try and do it and do it and just and finally. Lots of cut fingers and smashed <laughs> thumbs, and yeah, I got the cars apart, but, but I could never put them back together. I know you're good at taking stuff apart, and that helps me a lot because you can tell me how it came apart when I'm trying to put stuff back together for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I, I would really need your help. Okay. And, and we've got this uh, restored, um, and the guy who did this, he, he's an old timer. There's not many people that do this anymore, no. and he told me that's it. That is it, John. This is the last thing I'm going to do. It was so hard. It took him four or five months by the time I got the stuff back. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. But I, was, I got it over here. I didn't want to get it messed up. Oh, and okay. uh, I got all the things that are needed. Um, and I'm just going to move them over here and get the old junk out. And, uh, okay. Well, let's what, so what do we have to do to get these stripped down for the guy? Well, you, you just got to really just uh, unscrew every screw that's here oh, and, and it's just veins. pretty easy and it, it all kind of comes apart and then you just pull up the tabs and get oh, the emblem you out. Get the medallion out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this is just held in the center piece here is just held in. Yeah. There. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, okay. I mean, cool. uh, anybody can do it except for me. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've just never done it before. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm mechanical. I'm not trim and detail. <laughs> so this is, uh, so this is, is going to be the Josh challenge. What do we got here, John? So we've got all the components to put together this uh, wheel cover. Okay. And uh, it would consist of... There's a lot to it. Well, yeah. Yeah. So there's the, <laughs> the emblem, okay. right, that goes in the center. And uh, when we sent away to the restorer, it was one complete unit. And okay. so he disassembled it. And so... It comes back with what I call a trim ring or a beauty ring, and then the the center, center. and uh, and all the little um, yeah fins, fins. And, and they come with new screws. But okay. you know, Josh, I know you know uh, more about this than I do, <laughs> and so there's there's a little trick to putting it together. Yeah, I think everything has to be indexed just right. Yeah, the, uh, so. and and had had it been left to me to do it, uh huh. <laughs> I noticed it looking at the one right? he was taking apart. I, I wouldn't have known this. So so I, I'm going to kind of turn it over to Josh, okay. and he'll, he'll show you now how this, this... Now, this, if somebody has yeah. need, needs to send theirs out to be done, yes. uh, we, we can supply this part. This we can supply this. Uh, just the center medallion. Yeah, stainless okay. steel restorers are, 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 are dying breed. Yeah. There's very, very few. There's and, a few around, but yeah. if you find them, then it's a, usually a long wait. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Uh, yeah. Four yeah. months at least to get this back. So how many so. parts do we have here all together? If we, how many of these? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Oh, that's good. It's an even twelve number. fins. Yeah. With twelve screws, that's yes. twenty-four parts. Yeah. Twenty-five, twenty, twenty-seven parts. To make this thing to all make come one together. Wheel cover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Yeah. 
Well, I'm going to go in the other room. Okay. I, I, I got to answer some emails. Okay. And, all right. But uh, so I'll get on this and all right. show everybody how to put it back together. Thanks, Josh. Right, I appreciate thanks, it. John. Okay, guys. Well, we got all of our reconditioned parts laid out here. Got all the fins, the main ring, the center, and the center medallion. Now, if you notice on the side here, there's sections that are wide. Those sections that are wide line up with the fins and each hole. So when we set this all together, we want to make sure that we have every that we have the holes we have these holes around the edge lined up with the centers and these of these wide bands and these wide bands you have a little indentation where that fin goes in kind of to lock it all together And the fins, of course, only fit one way. The long, straight, long open edge goes towards the center. Be one of those jobs that almost need multiple hands to do. Just going to start that in loose, not tightened up all the way yet. Go around to the opposite side. Just trying to keep things sort of balanced and even. Here we go. See how we're starting to get that to form up? I'm just starting these. I'm not putting them in real tight yet. Because the whole thing kind of needs to settle in as the pressure is applied. Okay, now that we've got all those started and pretty fairly tight, get in here and make sure everything's seated home okay, everything's straight. They all look good along there. I'm just going to come through, just sn snug them all down. And I will kind of do it in an, an opposite pattern. There we go, all the fins are in place. The last thing to do, place the medallion. I'm going to make sure you got these tabs bent up enough that you're not going to be scratching the front face of this and you put it in. Now I'm going to align it. There's the hole for the uh, valve stem. I'll align the top of the emblem towards that, figuring that the back wheels when they're behind the skirt, you won't see the valve stem and you'll see the emblem right side up. And then the tabs simply get bent over. There you go. Got a few fingerprints on it. And I don't have a cloth on me. But give this a quick hit with some metal polish. There you go. Looks real nice. I'm going to take that into John's office and make sure he approves. I'm sure he will. Thanks for watching, guys.
At Caddy Daddy Presents, it's all about giving back. Please enjoy the video of the Boys and Girls Clubs of St. Helena and Calistoga. You can donate by clicking the link in the video description.